Crude oil prices have of hovered around $80 per barrel for the last month and are expected to remain elevated in the coming months. However, recently, the CEO of Slumberger said that slowing growth in shale production may mean that output forecasts would have to be revised down. And one of the research analysts and financial derivatives company, Desola Sumoni, joins us now from New York to talk more about this. Well, Desola, good morning. Good to have you on the show. Well, it's afternoon here. I'll say good morning. <laughs> good afternoon, Chimeze. Thank you for having me. Sure. Now, give us your view on these developments and how uh, this will affect oil prices. Talking about the slumberger uh, focused on shale. Okay, thank you for that question, Chimeze. For some context, um, Schlumberger is the largest oil field servicing uh, firm in the world, and they happen to have um, a lot of business in the Permian Basin of um, Texas and New Mexico, which also happens to be um, at the heart of the shale oil boom. So recently, they've been um, experiencing some production issues in the form of um, shortage in um, pipeline capacity, as well as um, drilling new oil wells where in places that um, oil wells have been drilled previously. So we have a situation of um, child well and parent well. Now, the effect of this has been so strong that uh, the well um, established um, forecast that the Permian Basin is, would continue to produce uh, 1.5 million barrels um, of oil every day would have to be revised downward. Now, the overall effect of this on the U.S. Um, production is that um, U.S. production is not expected to exceed um, 10.7 million barrels a day, and this is likely to um, to support prices, to support oil prices. Yeah. Okay. So, what is the effect of the intensifying China-U.S. trade wars on global oil prices? All right. Thank you again for the question. Um, for some context, um, the China is the largest um, is the largest or one of the largest um, importers of crude oil in the world. At the same time, the U.S. is the largest market for Chinese for Chinese um, products. So these tariff wars between um, China and um, and the U.S., where the U.S. imposes some 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 tariffs on Chinese exports to the U.S. and China um, reciprocates with some retaliatory um, measures, has had some strong effects on 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 the Chinese economy, particularly because I mean, like I said, the U.S. is the largest market of China. We are seeing a slowdown in exports to the U.S. and uh, employment, and this is likely to lead to a decline in, in in aggregate demand and consumption in the Chinese economy. The effect of this is that the demand, China's demand for um, crude oil, would also decline, and this is going to cause um, oil prices to decline further. And China recently released its um, third quarter GDP growth uh, data, which was lower than expected. What is the effect of this on global oil prices and how will this affect China-Africa trade and investment relations? Yeah, so um, like you said, um, China's GDP for Q3 was at 6.5%, which was the lowest since 2009. And it was lower than um, the expectations of 6.6%. Again, this just... And this was, I mean, driven by many factors, including the pressures from the China-U.S. Um, trade relations. You just begin to show that we are beginning to see the effect of, of the China-U.S. trade relations on, on China's economy. We are seeing a slowdown in growth. And this, again, is affecting the domestic economy. The domestic demand for, for crude oil has been dampened. And that is why and we expect this to, to affect oil prices by um, causing a decline in oil prices because, you know, China's demand is declining and then the supply is still remaining elevated. So we, we are expected to see a decline in um, oil prices. Now, for the China-Africa trade relations, I don't think it's going to have any effect on that trade relation because, I mean, this is only Q3. The full-year forecast for China is um, that the, the economy will grow by 6.6% for 2018. And this is um, above the government's expectation of 6.5%. Um, so overall, we are seeing that even though the, this um, Q3 um, GDP figures was lower than expected, overall, the economy is still in, cost, uh, in route to achieving the 6.6 growth full for the full year 2018. And the economy is still quite strong. And uh, the China, China is not backing down on its um, trying to uh, influence the world and gaining world power. So I don't think that is going to... It's going to affect uh, China-African relations in any way. All right. Thank you, Desola. Well, I'm made to understand that you are now in the UK. So I say good afternoon and thank you for your <laughs> Good <time>. afternoon. <laughs> thank you. <laughs> All right. Enjoy the rest of the day.